welcome guys thank you so much for joining in so today in this video i'm actually going to show you a very very interesting scenario unfolding right now for bitcoin and also for ethereum first of all we are going to look in the price action of bitcoin and then look into ethereum price action so if we start our analysis by looking at this price action of bitcoin in a four hour time frame what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to use this rising trendline again because this rising trendline is not just actually acting as a support it is also showing us a possible trend direction for bitcoin and the reason why i'm actually bringing this again is because i know many of you are actually looking at this head and shoulder unfolding but what you are not looking properly is that to form this head and shoulder we have to break through the neckline area and if you look at this properly even if the price is going to get gravitated towards the neckline area we still have this rising trend line which has previously acted as a support so you can find support price could actually move in this direction as well so those people who are looking for short opportunity wait if you want to take short then wait for the price to actually break properly below this neckline area and also below this rising trend line area before taking any trade and the reason why i'm actually bringing you this is because if we look at this price structure here and use the trend line area this trend line if you look at the scenario here the type of scenario one two three reversal pattern which i have already talked plenty of time in my video look at this right one two three scenario so if you look at this price structure in a four hour time frame and let's say before i talk about this we can also look in the previous example you can see here once the price was able to break out of this trend line and find support over it that has actually flashed a very very bullish scenario you can see here one two three and after that we had this move in an upper direction another scenario here now you can see guys this scenario this one two three reversal has unfolded many times so what i'm actually trying to say you here is that the price movement of bitcoin right now could also be flashing this kind of bullish movement in an upper direction see, right now this price formation here could be flashing something like this this move here in an upper direction and in the next shot i'm going to label each and every area here so that everyone watching this video right now could understand this scenario properly so if you look at this here this is the similar price structure right? this is a similar price structure you can see here this one two three scenario by reversal scenario so what is this actually showing us if this is also going to turn out like this here like this here or like this here what is the most important thing for price to do first so in this case as you can see we have already broken out of this trend line area and why this is actually turning out to be one two three is because you can see the swing failure to the downside this year was the lowest point when we had this price pullback the price managed to find support around this price level of 33,600 area so this is actually flashing out that hey since we were able to find support at this price level now since we are also breaking out of this upper line area here right this trend line area this could be flashing a really nice one two three four reversal just like with this example here right which i just showed you if you are looking for any trading opportunity what i would like to suggest you guys is wait for price to actually find support above this neckline area so this neckline area is around 36,500 price level so if we could actually find support above this label then this could actually indicate a move here in an upper duration for that we are going to look around 41,500 to be our target area if this plays out and why 41,000 is because if you look at this here the price scenario or this price structure would be calculated from the leg here from the swing low till the neckline area right so if this is going to happen and you can see exactly at this price level so that's why this 41,500, if this plays out is going to be our target area and not only just because this one to three but if you look properly this price structure could also be falling like a double bottom scenario here you can see that very clearly so breaking the neckline would give us a double confirmation just like with the double bottom also this one to three reversal is going to pan out very very well so that's why right now this price structure I'm actually not going to focus more on this head and shoulder pattern what everyone is talking right now this head and shoulder pattern because I know we have a one two three reversal scenario playing out and also even if the trend does serve any sort of a rejection also this rising trend line is going to act as a support so I'm actually more looking at move in a upper duration rather than in a downward duration so this is what I actually 
wanted to share with you right now looking at the price action in four hour time frame so now if you look at this price action in hourly time frame you can see guys yesterday i showed you this price movement this here was a descending broadening wage and according to this descending broadening wage we actually managed to break out of it but we were unable to find a proper breakout so what happened to price action you can see we started consolidating right but if we look inside this descending broadening wage i showed you guys this each and every line here has been playing out as a very very important support and resistance line so this means even this price structure here you can see here support support i've actually talked about this in my yesterday's video resistance support resistance so right now to the downside this year was our lowest point right which was around 30,200 price level so if you go bit upward you can see this is also an area where we found support here and also here so now where we are heading we are heading towards the neckline area which i just showed you here the neckline here which is around 36,500 price level i would wait until price to close above here if that's going to happen the next target would be somewhere around 38,700 and according to this one two three four reversal pattern and also this double bottom 41,500 is going to be our final target area so this is how i see right now looking at the price action of bitcoin in a hourly time frame and also in a four hour time frame and also guys also i just want to look at this scenario here this bitcoin price logarithm growth curve in a weekly time frame if you can see let's actually look at this in a daily time frame okay so according to this bitcoin logarithm growth curve guys what you can see here is that price here if we are able to actually find support above the 36,500 price level the neckline area here right 36,500 that could be a very very bullish scenario for bitcoin because the price of bitcoin is above the 50 level the middle line area so if that's going to happen the next target as i've already said you guys is going to be this green line that is the 61.80 fibonacci level so the 61.80 fibonacci level is going to be our target area which could flash a very very bullish move which could also make a new high guys because finding support over this middle line has led to a very very bullish move in the past bitcoin price action you can see it here for example let me show you here when the trend was heading in an upper duration you can see we were unable to find support we came back here tested the lower line area and then you can see we headed to the upside but once we were able to find support above it then a bullish move continued here as well if you go backwards you can see similar price structure has unfolded again and again guys you can see finding support above the 50 percent price level has led to a very very massive move here as well you can see 50 percent price level we were below it once we were able to find support above that a very bullish move continued after that right so this is exactly what could also unfold right now with bitcoin if we could actually find support above this 50 percent fibonacci level or this middle line so if that's going to be the case then we could see this bullish scenario playing out and also this bullish scenario playing out for bitcoin so guys this is what i see looking at the price action of bitcoin in an hourly time frame four hour time frame and also in a daily time frame so now let's look at ethereum price action so also looking at this ether usd chart we are going to start this in a four hour time frame including this ascending channel because i believe this ascending channel has so much to show to us because not only just here but also here to the downside this price movement i believe could be following this ascending channel just like here because you can see here this trend line here to the downside is actually acting as a very very strong support and now we are hitting in an upper direction but as i've already showed you yesterday this important trend line area from this ascending triangle here here as well right you can see this is a very nice ascending triangle and the upper line area this trend line actually acted as a resistance but once we were able to find support over it we had this bullish move in an upper direction and this is the exact line where we are finding support which is around 1050 price level but now if this is going to continue then i'm actually expecting move like this for ether right move in an upper duration just like here with the previous example because according to this if this trend is going to continue guys if this is trend is going to continue the target here for me right now for this ether price would be somewhere around 1260 price level and another price target for now would be the previous resistance line which is somewhere around 1150 price level so if we could actually find support over this level then we could be clearly heading towards this 1260 price level as well so this is right now looking in a four hour time frame let's switch the time frame into hourly time frame so if we look at this we don't need this right now so if you look at this in hourly time frame you can see guys what i 
think could either making right now could be a descending boarding wage in a smaller time frame because now since the price has clearly broken out of this area what could expect is a more like a consolidation and a move in an upper duration why because look at this guys look at this this here this price movement inside this area could be making a ascending triangle so if this is going to happen if this ascending triangle is going to play out then this is also a move in an upper duration guys so so now in a bigger time frame as you can already see our target here to the upside around this 1410 and 1370 has not been reached yet so let's see if this price is going to continue further because if this fractal here right if this fractal from 2017 is going to play out then there is a very likely scenario that we should be also breaking this new high structure for ether because if we are able to break out of this previous high structure for ether right this is going to be a very very bullish move for ether according to my analysis because if we are able to break the previous high structure the price of ether could go completely parabolic let me show you this chart so now if we look at this ethereum USD in a monthly time frame guys you can see here this previous high here from 2018 or 2017 you can say first of january right you can see if we are able to break above this area this previous high structure that would indicate completely parabolic move for ether if that is going to happen because according to this jesse livermore pivotal point theory if you are aware breaking the previous high structure is actually a buy signal because if you look at this price structure here of ether you can see breaking the previous high each and every time has actually indicated a very very massive move in an upper direction you can see once we actually broke this previous high from 2009 price of ether turned completely parabolic and this is exactly what is also going to happen if the price of ether is going to break the all-time high from 2017 so if this is going to be the case that's like with the bitcoin you can see breaking the previous key level of resistance turned the price completely parabolic he as well and also breaking this 20,000 psychological level look at this bullish candle right because according to jesse libermore breaking the previous temporary resistance line is a buy signal and this is exactly what happened with bitcoin so if the price of ether is also going to break the previous high structure that could actually turn the price to go completely parabolic according to my analysis guys so guys this is what i see looking at the price action of bitcoin ethereum in a smaller and also in a bigger time frame i hope you guys enjoyed this work i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case guys hit the like button and also if you're watching this for the first time definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing off my name is anup bye bye guys